Well, I put a little over half a tank in the pickup truck. Which filled it up. Oh. And the reason I'm in the pickup truck is because I opened my mouth and a thing happened. So I guess I gotta take care of this. So, inadvertently, I bought myself a uh, Mustang. I didn't mean to. Uh, I made a comment, and somehow I have a car. I know nothing about it. I've never laid eyes on it. I don't know what color it is. I don't even know what year it is. I think it's an 83. So, this is going to be new for all of us. So, uh, it's sitting on the trailer right now. i got to go pick up the trailer and uh, drag it back to the house. So... Let's get over there and uh, uh, pick it up and see what I bought. This was, yeah, this is going to be a surprise for all of us. So I got to get over to East Wichita and go pick it up. So uh, we'll see you there. So the dog's leaving after with you, huh? Hey, puppy dog. Well, come here. All right. All right. So here's the car. Mm. Wow, this thing is roached. Huh. Well. All right. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. This thing is junk. Hmm. Well, there's literally nothing good on this. Well, at least it's a five speed. It's an LX, so it's probably a V6. And we have a four cylinder. Uh, well, that sucks. I don't know what I got myself into, but this is a, this is just absolute junk. Uh, oof. Well, let's get it home and go from there, I guess. So we got it hooked up. It's hanging out back there, so we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do with it when we get it home. This is quite literally everything you never wanted in a Mustang, so... Uh, the five speed's kind of cool, but aside from that, it's, it's bare bones. It's the LX. It's basically from what I'm seeing, it's the cheapest Mustang you could get, but I wish I was under the impression that it was a little better, even though, like I said, this is why you buy cars you've never seen, or this is why you don't buy cars you've never seen. So, uh, uh. There it is back there, so let's get this thing home. So I put together a very basic, straightforward ad, wanting not a whole lot for the car, but I took some shots of the interior, exit outside, and made it kind of lighthearted before I really cleaned it. Didn't ask a whole lot for it, but hey, I got it all ready to go, and then the clown show ensued. But that's going to be another video. So literally, after putting the car online, literally 12 minutes after I hit my driveway, I haven't sold it yet. It's the next morning, and uh, I forgot how much of a clown show Facebook Marketplace is. Holy crap. Uh, 
I had a guy want to trade me work for a tree. I had a guy want to trade me for a 61 Scout two-wheel drive, which is a very rare car. And I was like, no, no, no. I mean, yes, but I do have a conscience. That's about a $3,000 car or about a $3,000 VIN at this point. And uh, this is a this is a crusty old Mustang. So, I've been fielding all sorts of stupid questions all day, all night, all. So, I'm on my way to breakfast now because, well, I just wanted to go out for breakfast. And uh, so, I guess we'll have to continue on today to see what happens. Part of the problem that I'm having is everybody wants me to hold the car until they decide what they want to do, and I, I, I won't do that. You want the car, come buy the car, come haul the car off. And a lot of people are like, well, I don't get off work until, well, I get that. But, I mean, I, uh, with the, like with what the ad said, if you're going to lowball me, have a story, but everybody's just getting, I, I don't know if the word's impetuous, uh, they're just getting stupid. Well, that's a better word about it. Offering me just, you know, truthfully, I told Red I'd take three hundred dollars for the car if if they'd give me just a dang good funny story about why they want the car, but uh, nobody has. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see and uh, go from there. Well, I just got home from breakfast and almost got rear-ended in the process. been getting messages too many of the are you available ones so decided I aired up the tires I'm gonna clean it out a little bit and guy wanted a picture of the engine don't know why and uh, hopefully it'll be gone soon well like a lot of you I just had to know we got the truck hooked up jumper wires I'm gonna turn the key here see if anything happens I gotta see if the trunk works trunk release hey it works got it unhooked let's see Ooh, the top works I really just need to sell this before I keep it I had a thought and I got thinking that maybe I'm done screwing around like a lot of you I just have to know I've got the jumper cables hooked up to that. Let's find out. Or let's start a fire. We can go either way at this point. All right, so let's turn the key. Nope, something ain't right. Hmm. Check that. Check that. Check that over there. Whoops. I have to go up this way. Did that come back on? Nope. The alternator light will come on. All right. Let's see. There it is right there. Push down the clutch, make sure it's in neutral. Oh, come on. Put the clutch and the brake. Ooh, it did fire. Try. Now, the problem is this. You can see how loose this is, so I gotta tighten that up. Well, it's trying to start, but the battery's just exhausted to the point, uh, that I'm not gonna throw a battery in it. Uh, it's it's not even holding a charge. So I thought maybe the semi truck might give enough umfa to get it turn over. It's trying to turn over, um, but 
it just needs to be clean the grounds need to be redone and what it really needs is a new battery uh, so if you get a battery that's just completely stone dead with nothing in it uh, unless you have one of those fancy new jump packs unless you got something in it that the battery can build on it just won't work so I think we're done with it uh, all the lights work well except for the headlight which is burned out the top works it's not actually it's not a bad car it's just rough it's just really really rough so um, I'll uh, I guess I'll go put the truck up and I'll just hopefully I can have it sold I got a guy begging so uh, find out if he shows up with money or not so right now I'm just sitting here waiting guys coming by with the trailer or tow truck or something to come pick it up sold the car 24 hours later uh, I hope he likes it I cleaned it up to make it a little more presentable that way I'll be hopefully he won't lowball me too much I told him 750 and uh, I'm willing to go down to six but uh, yeah so Hopefully the guy gets here soon. He should have already been here, but he did send me a message. Said he had a flat tire. Whatever, if he's not here in an hour or two, uh, the car's gonna go back online, and we're gonna we're gonna sell it. So hopefully, fingers crossed, he gets here. And uh, I don't even know what time it is. He should be here in about 15 minutes, I reckon. Well, it's a couple days later. And the guy showed up and he looked and it was a little too rough for him so it's gonna be raining so we got the uh, cover on it but I've got uh, some more interest in it so hopefully it'll go and I can just be done with this whole thing so uh, I plan on doing a video about the whole experience of just being on marketplace it really is a clown show so it's been a couple of days I've been uh, going on and with marketplace and all that I had a giant douchebag show up make me a deal and then ghost me after leaving um, yeah so so that was fun as you can see the car is still here never showed up shot him a deal and uh yeah meth is bad so now i had another kid show up this morning he really wants the car uh he's supposed to be showing up about three o'clock he's like well if i buy it will you help me load it and i was like yeah yeah i'll help you load it i, I want it out of my driveway never wanted it in my driveway and i only want to make one video about this whole ordeal so with that uh, hopefully the car is sold. He should be back here in any time now, actually. I have no idea what time it is. Uh, huh. Oh, wait. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll need a working clock in the house somewhere. Uh, so, so hopefully he'll show up here. He'll buy the car and, uh, because if he doesn't buy the car tonight, the ad's going down tonight. It's going to roll in the driveway. And uh, we're going to do some work on it if he doesn't buy it. And the price will go up. And the kind of work I want to do, the price isn't going to go up a little. The price is going to go up a lot. So hopefully uh, we can get this all taken care of. And uh, so he shows up, I'll let you know. If he doesn't, I guess we'll be doing another video on this. So get you in a bit. So that was a long and painstaking process. The car sold. I made about 300 bucks on it not bad for a few days worth of aggravation honestly but uh, so the car sold so what did I learn out of this well I got a few thoughts and if you're gonna be buying cars like this it's true they say you make your money when you buy the car I most certainly did and everybody making money right now on cars and thinking they can flip it Everybody's an expert in an up market. That's that's it. So I wasn't trying to gouge anybody. 
I did get a very fair price for it. I gave the kid a break. I knocked two hundred and fifty dollars off the asking price. He was willing to come get it today, and he was a young kid. His dad and his brother showed up, and he got a project car out of the deal. And I sincerely hope it works for them. But that being said, you know, um, it is what it is. Finally, the car is sold. I'm gonna mark it as sold, and uh, so. We can be done with this, and now we can get back to more important things. So, lesson learned. It's kind of a fluke that, uh, you know, Red and I got our got our uh, um, wires crossed with it, mainly because I had told her uh, I didn't want the car. And what ended up happening was, before I could tell her I didn't want the car, she thought I did, and arrangements were made. So, so once that happened, well, yeah, that's what happened. So, car sold. But, made a few hundred bucks on the deal, and I'll go drop it in the bank tomorrow morning. Actually, I'm gonna take it to the DMV and pay for, uh, pay for my tags. I've got three cars to tag. So, yeah, that's the saga with the Mustang. It's over. And uh, so, I appreciate it. I uh, don't really want to go through that again. So, I learned a few lessons here. And I'm going to do a video about the whole process of selling on Marketplace. And some mistakes that I made. Uh, it really was a disaster. So, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. See you next video.